In my previous Death Valley video, I ended the day at Badwater. From Badwater, I decided to stay overnight at Furnace Creek and head up to Zabriskie Point for the sunrise the following morning. I arrived there in the early morning and walked a short hill from the parking lot to join others who were spread out to enjoy the sunrise. To photograph at Zembriski Point, plan on using a lens in the 30 to 200 millimeter range. You don't need a super wide lens here. Beyond the main viewpoint, I suggest you also look around for some interesting details. As the sun lights up the rocks, it produces some interesting shadows and you might find some nice abstracts to photograph here. I used a zoom lens in the 150 to 200 range to narrow in on some abstract details, which I'll show in the following slideshow. Okay, I'm at Zembriski Point in Death Valley. It's a little bit after sunrise. The crowds have left already. There are probably 40 or 50 people here taking photographs and watching the sunrise. It's pretty amazing with the light coming up on the far hills and then it hits these um, closer, closer hills here. So um, some great photography here and lots of abstracts, lights and shadows. It's great for black and white as well as for color. Okay, so I found a view over here, and there's some more over here, and I'm just going to try and get some abstracts of these sand dunes and some nice uh, long shots to start with, and then the sun is setting in another about 45 minutes, so I'm going to look for a composition that can, I can use the setting sun over there. But for now, I'm just going to concentrate on some of these dunes here, and some over there. Let me turn the camera so you can see. So, also some over here could be interesting as well so we'll see what happens okay so I've found this ridge line here I'm gonna use this as a as my main composition I'm not gonna get in front of the camera because I don't want to mess up the sand here but I'm gonna use this area here in some of the shadows here to try to get some abstract shots and I've got a view over here of this tall dune so I'm gonna work this area right here I'm not gonna try and move too much um, I'm up on the top of a little ridge, so we'll, we'll see what happens and I will check in with you after I've finished this. Okay, so this is my setup. This is uh, just a classic kind of sand dune shot right through the center here just to lead you forward. Um, just going to get that one to start with and it's just going to lead you out along that ridge here and now on into the distance to those nice mountains in the back and I'm probably going to focus stack this just to make sure that it's nice and sharp
Okay, during my video I talked about focus stacking several images together to create one final image. I just want to go over the process of doing that um, real quickly. It's pretty simple in Photoshop. So here's an example, this one with the dunes and then this one here with this collection of dunes and this final one here which is also from the same position as the first one, different composition. So I'm going to use this one as my example and select the three layers and how they get put together. So here are the three layers that I used in Adobe Bridge and I'm just going to open them and they're open in the camera raw and I'll just select all three and open them in Photoshop. I've already done some processing on, I don't want to go over that right now. So it takes a few moments for these to open. Okay, so those three images are now open in Photoshop and we'll go through the process of putting these together. Usually what I do is shoot something like F8 or F11 if I'm going to focus stack. Um, rather than using F13 or F16, that's uh, one way of getting around the focus stacking process is to use a higher f-stop, but you tend to get some diffraction and it's hard to make sure that the foreground is in good focus anyway. So in this case, I wanted to have this nice line of the ridge in focus, but as you can see by doing that, I didn't have the background in focus here and then this one that was focused on the background foreground is not in focus but the background is and so you can see the difference here so here all these dunes are out of focus and in this one all these dunes and the mountains are in focus so we're going to combine these three layers together to create a single image so here's how we do that first thing is go to file scripts and load files into stack and then hit add open files and I don't want to use this one so I'll just remove it. I've got these three that are my, going to be my base layers for the image so hit OK and Photoshop will stack them together. And what I want to do is have the one nearest the lens as my base um, image and then I'm going to use the other three and part, stack them together on top of that. So I just rearrange these, these layers so that the Distant layer, focus for the mountains is at the top, and I can turn that off. And then the second layer is at the in the middle, and the final layer is at the bottom, the one closest to the lens. The second step is to select all three layers, and then go to Edit, Auto Align Layers. So we'll just let Photoshop do that. It takes a couple of moments, and our layers are now aligned. So if I zoom in slightly and turn this off, you'll see that the all three layers are aligned pretty well. So let's start with the process. So I'm going to turn that layer off and I'm going to select the middle layer. And if we zoom in, we can start to see where the line of focus starts to break down. So I turn this lens up, this layer off. You can see that this area in here, I'm losing the focus. And when I turn it back on, it's starting to get sharp again. Let me zoom in slightly more. Okay, so I turn that off, and those ridges in the sand are out of focus, and then they come into focus. So what we we're going to do is just include this area of that image in by using a mask. So select the layer, slide down to the mask, create a mask, and then invert it. So by con hitting Command I or Control I, that turns it black. That means the mask is not being active. And then I'm going to brush in the, the layer of it, the part of it that I want to use. So you want to make sure you have a white brush and hit B for the brush tool, and then use a fairly large brush and you can just brush in across that dune area that we know is in focus for the second layer. And if we zoom in again, you'll see that I've got 
a nice area of focus there and if I turn it off it's out of focus so I'm just gonna go down slightly and make sure that I didn't overdo it looks pretty good okay so now we're gonna do the same thing for the top layer so turn that on make it visible create a layer we create a mask invert the mask again control I command I and this time we want to brush in that top layer so I've got my brush selected and I'm just gonna brush it in and you can see how the line of the sand dunes and the mountain starts to come into focus as we do that so just zoom out slightly and make sure that my mask looks good there we go okay so there are my three layers and the next thing I want to do is combine them together and you can do this by flattening them together or if you think you might want to do some more work on them you can create keep the three layers separated and create a combined layer from them to create a combined layer just hit command option shift E and now we'll create a layer that has all three of these combined together. Then I can just uh, add a group and I can just move these three layers into the group so they're out of the way. And maybe call it base layers or something simple. There we go. And close those and turn that off. And now I've just got the one layer that I'm dealing with. And I've combined my three stacked my three images into one stacked image. And then you can carry on and do some processing if you want. As an example, let's do a new curves adjustment layer and create a quick S curve on it so you can see how easy this is to do. So that's a little bit excessive, but you can see I'm adding a little bit of contrast and sharpening up the colour slightly. So that quick mask, I mean that quick combination of those three layers and a mask and you might be done with your processing. So it's that simple. If you have any comments or questions on how I do this, put them in the comment section below the video and I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching.